hi guys welcome to cognitive hub talent tutorials in this video i am going to explain about some more database components present in talent studio those are nothing but like tdb connection like opening the connection as well as closing the connection and how to commit the changes that you have made to the database and how to close the connections and all i am going to explain with the practical examples now without wasting any time let's dive into the topic What I am doing here is first of all I am using a one component called as TDB TDB connection so this is the component which is used to connect like which is used to configure the connection at a once like um, suppose if you want to use some particular database connection multiple times in your job then in order to do multiple times that particular type of connection you can do only once in your job and you can use that particular connection like uh, you can use that particular component in multiple times in your job so i am going to explain that in job <coughs> now what i am going to do is in this, uh, in this component I am going to configure like whatever the things that we do for the T, uh, TDB input or TDB output that I am going to do here for this component like TDB connection. What I am doing is I am first of all configuring with the database that I am using. It's a Postgres SQL. So what are the host name? My host name is localhost with the port as 542 and database as Postgres. And similarly schema is also Postgres username is also postgres because i am maintaining the same name for all the things here whatever the passport that you have, password that you have then you can give that here my thread the password is this one <coughs> so the con test is already the complete test was done so what i am doing is i am saving it what i am doing is i am just connecting to some other component so what i will do t file input delimited and then tdb output tdb output so in the t file input delimited i am giving the values as three columns one is id which is an integer and second one is product and third one is price product is also a string price is an integer so this is the schema that i need and i am changing the input file path to the desired one so this is the one and i am placing the value as one so this is the schema and all are needed for t file input template so i am connecting now with the uh, tdb output so first of all i need to configure the tdb output as well so uh, configuring it with postgres so here it will ask for whether you want to use a new connection or you want to use a separate existing connection so what you, what it means is suppose if you were considering the data from one da database and you are just modifying the data and again placing into the same database then you will use the this type of your existing connections and all suppose uh, if you are uh, retrieving the data from the database a and you are doing some modifications and you are placing some uh, output data to database b then you need to or a database b or some new database or some new connection then what it means is uh, you are just migrating the data from one uh, database to another database by doing some translations so in that case you can use uh, another uh, host name another port another database and all but here what i am doing is i am considering from one table and i am consider i am placing it in the same table so here uh, i am using i am clicked on uh, use existing connection so it will ask for what is the component that is present so here i only have only one connection that is tdb connection one which i previously executed and it will ask for the table so what it means is here uh, I have created one table that is a uh, table name as a workspace with the uh, three columns one is ID product name and the price 
so I am giving this name as uh, the name so name I am given here uh, the action is insert and edit uh, schema is I need to give three columns here one is id another one is product another one is price it is an integer price is also an integer so I am saving it and I am linking it with this so main row so it will get executed and what I am I am connecting these two with on sub job ok on sub job ok trigger I am saving it so if we run let us check what the output is previously there is no data in the workspace in our database so it is showing some error okay the schema should be same i think oh it is showing process execution does not exist Here it is post press only. Okay, database is also post press. What are the configurations that we have given here? So just change the schema, let me check. ID and product underscore name price oh shit guess here the error is uh, previously we mentioned it as uh, the schema name here uh, we mentioned it as uh, capital P and capital N now uh, I change it to small p and small n and whatever the name that is present in the schema I mentioned it as uh, small p as well as small p in the price as well now it will get executed let, let us run so if I run this the total three rows gets affected and I already executed that's why we have this so let me delete this delete from workspace sorry so I am running it so there is no columns in it so no data in it so if I again run it so the data will get uh, placed in that particular table so the, it runs successfully if I run it again if I see the data there is no data present here so why it why it happens is so in database it won't get executed like the data will won't be placed in uh, the DB like won't insert into the DB or won't make any changes into the DB unless or until you commit the changes so in order to save the changes in the database what you need to do is we have a one more component here named as tdb commit so similarly you need to give the whatever the database it is postgres apply and here uh, whatever the component list that you have tdb connection and save it so what it what it will do is whenever this this certain job gets executed you need to commit those particular changes then only those particular changes will get affected in the table so what i am doing is i am assigning it to on component okay so if this sub job gets executed successfully then it will go into the on tb commit and it will commit all the changes that are uh, 
that are affected on TDB output. So I am saving it and I am running it again. So once the, once it gets run, then I will check the, the DB. So it is completed. So if I run it, run this query again. So if you observe this, we have total three records here. So uh, the effect is on TDB commit. If you do not place the TDB commit, then it won't the data won't get inserted into the TDB commit. Sorry, it uh, won't get uh, inserted into the workspace. So that is the uh, difference between TDB. Uh, that is the main usage of TDB commit, which will commit the changes that we have done in the talent job, which will gets reflected in the the corresponding schema present in the database. So in this video, we have discussed about the two database com two new database components. One is TDB connection, as well as another one is TDB commit. So in the next video, I am going to explain about how to close the connections when you use such type of uh, multiple multiple connections. Okay, guys. Thank you. That's all for this video, guys.